Welcome back. Boris Johnson will join international counterparts such as Emmanuel Macron this afternoon as the UK co-hosts a climate summit on the fifth anniversary of the Paris Agreement. I'm joined now by Patrick Bacoya, head of the Global Centre on Adaption from Utrecht in the Netherlands. Good to see you this afternoon. Thank you very much for being with us. Perhaps we can start on uh, what is big news here in the UK. Uh, the British government no more funding, it's saying, for fossil fuel operations overseas. Um, that's pretty big news. Yes, Jonathan, yes, it, it is indeed. I mean, the U shape on this agenda is absolutely vital. This climate ambition summit is important. Why? It needs to drive action. No more new commitments or different commitments. It needs to be translated into concrete actions on the ground. 2020 is the third warmest year on record. And that's in a La Nina year with floods and fires and cyclones and, and hurricanes, and it's just a fire drill of what is to come. What the world needs is to reduce our carbon footprint, but at the same time to adapt to a changing climate. We're in a race against time to adapt to this changing climate. It makes not only moral sense, but particularly it makes economic sense. Every dollar or pound invested in climate adaptation has a four dollar a pound in return. So yes, this adaptation or this summit of today is absolutely vital. But it is hard, isn't it, to convince countries um, uh, of those, uh, those economic reasons when we are in the middle of a, a pandemic which is costing billions? Well, yes, it is and it isn't. We are investing trillions of stimulus packages to address the health crisis and the economic crisis. However, at the same time, we need to be smart how we invest these trillions. We need to make sure that we build forward better. Part of the stimulus packages is investing in infrastructure. Let's make sure that that infrastructure is at the same time resilient to climate shocks. It doesn't make sense to invest in infrastructure of the past. We need to take the climate risk of today and tomorrow into account when we invest these stimulus packages. We can look for a triple dividend, address in the pandemic, focus on the economic recovery, while at the same time address the climate crisis. That's the task of world leaders. That will be central today to the discussion at the Climate Ambition Summit. Yeah, five years since the uh, adoption of the Paris Climate Agreement. I mean, uh, many critics will, will, will see these summits and say, actually, they're just a, a talking shop. And we've been saying we're running out of time for, for years and nothing really concrete will be achieved. What, what do you say to them? Well, it's true and it is not true. 2015, the Paris Agreement was a success. Why? Countries came together, they committed to increase their ambition, to lower their carbon footprint, to increase their financing for climate to adapt to a changing climate. At the same time, they also agreed five years ago that they would increase their ambition five years later. Well, today is the day of reckoning. We see now strong new commitments, be it from the European Union, from the United Kingdom, from China. The big question now is where is the Biden administration when it will take office? The world will look on the United States to come forward also with very strong commitments for 2050, but also where will they be come 2030? So I think there's a lot to play for in, in the coming months. We know we're in a 1.2 warmer world. We know we're not on track, but these summits are important to increase ambition and to drive action. Yeah, you mentioned China and India there. They're taking part in, in the summit. So the extent of their new commitments, it isn't clear. Do you think we'll get some clarity on what they are prepared to commit to? Well, I, I, certainly for China. I mean, China came forward last September with a very robust and bold commitment that they will be carbon neutral by 2060. For a country like China, that is massive. So that leadership of China hopefully will also be translated, not just on the carbon footprint side to lower the carbon emissions, but also to on the adaptation side to adjust to the, the risk which we see today and tomorrow. That's precisely why the Netherlands is hosting a climate adaptation summit next month on the back of what's happening today. It's the first virtual summit on adaptation exclusively 
The expectation is that on the back of what's happening today, the world will reset and become resilient and that world leaders will take up their duty. And not only in a sense of a global duty, but it's in their national interest to do so. Okay, very interesting. Uh, Patrick Vakoya, thank you very much indeed. My pleasure indeed. Let's take a look now at the weather. Get ready for safe skies.